Any McDonald's insiders here? Can you tell me, didn't they just put two tops on this? What's going on? Well, have you heard about what's happening at McDonald's in the United States of America? They have a new promotion out called the McDonald's Menu Hacks menu or new items or whatever i don't know it looks pretty interesting what it is is your standard mcdonald's items including the ones that we have in australia but they've been smushed together to make new items things that people have been doing for years and uh, often sharing on youtube but here's the thing you can now get them at mcdonald's which sounds pretty impressive but actually when you look a little bit deeper it's kind of a bit strange rather than getting for example the land air and sea burger prepared for you you actually just get the three burger components, like a McChicken, Big Mac, and a fillet of fish, like together. Yeah, and, and like you have to assemble them yourself. So they've kind of said you can get this uh, item, but you're actually just buying three regular items. Like, there's no difference. There's no difference. Personal hero Bill Oakley has spoken out about this on Twitter. Dame Drops also, he wasn't very impressed with it, as you can tell from this thumbnail. I think the Report of the Week review bra himself, I think he was pretty impressed by it. This is the zenith of fast food. But he may have been being sarcastic. That was sarcasm, by the way. So anyway, we don't have the like official menu hacks promotion in Australia, but we still have the same menu items. So I'm gonna go to McDonald's today and check out one of these menu items to see if they're any good and to see if they will come to Australia. Um, I don't know, maybe they will, maybe they won't. Let's check them out. Alrighty, here we are back from the drive-thru with the fillet of fish and the double cheeseburger. I'm going to assemble that into the surf and turf from the McDonald's menu hacks range. Now, first, I will need a tray. I will need a tray. Now, most people, at least I most people, don't carry a tray around in their car. I do for uh, you know obvious purposes, but uh, most people don't. By the way, you can get this uh, sticker in the merch store, um, so check that out if you want. Um, but yeah, like you need to assemble this burger yourself. It's even part of the marketing, made by hand, like as if making a McDonald's burger is something that a lot of people aspire to. I don't think it is, but anyway, let's check it out. So. We have the fillet of fish, or the fillet of fish, whatever, in the clamshell box, and the double cheeseburger in uh, just the wrapping. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they, like, give you gloves in the American one, or like a little a placemat, a preparation table, but, you know, I mean, McDonald's is all about convenience, so assembling your own burger kind of, kind of messes with that a little bit. So anyway, let's just uh, assemble it, get it ready. Um, I will try to, mm, yeah, assemble it like that now. I want to be faithful to the picture, so I'll just try to see if I can remember what that is. Okay, so I have my fillet of fish there, and my, hang on, my double quarter pounder. Um, any McDonald's insiders here? Can you tell me, didn't they just put two tops on this? What's going on? There's like two tops the double cheeseburger it doesn't have the heel at least it doesn't look like it has the heel how did they do that weird um now anyway what i've seen on the commercial is they split that open like so and then oh gosh uh you take the uh the lid or whatever the head or something off of the fillet of fish like thus and then here's the thing, I don't know what you're supposed to do with the top there. Like, why can't they just give you this much of the fillet of fish? If they're telling you to make it yourself, they should just give you this, and um, yeah, you, you just eat that or give it to the dog or something. I don't know. Anyway, then, now I'm not sure which part of this is the bottom, 
Although, interestingly, this double cheeseburger, I never noticed, it seems to be a symmetrical burger. This one is very symmetrical, as there is no base to it. It doesn't actually have a base. Uh, the heel portion, I think, is the, is the industry term. But anyway, this then goes on top of that. And then you complete it by putting that there. Any McDonald's insiders... If you want to tell me how I went with that, if I did a good job, if I did a poor job, let me know in the comments. I'm interested to hear what you think. So, there we go. That is the surf and turf, fish and beef. It's just two burgers in one. Yeah, it's supposedly a hack. This is uh, two of the smaller burgers at McDonald's, but it, it looks like it's going to be hard to fit in my mouth. But anyway... Um, I, I will try to do that. And look at this. My hands were already covered in a tomato sauce. Like, pre-making it, my hands are filthy. So, anyway, this, this better be good. Let's give it a go. Hmm. Hmm. That's actually not bad. Let's, let's give it more of a go. Whoa. Hmm. Yeah, I'm having trouble getting through the whole thing. All right. There we go. Um, that, uh, that's not great. That's not great. Hmm, okay, I'll put that to the side. Now, um, I'm no folk etymologist, so I don't know where the origin of the term uh, hack comes from. But my understanding is a hack is supposed to make your life better. It's a little trick to make things easier or better for you. This, I don't think, in that sense qualifies as a hack. Like... You're combining two, like, sort of okay burgers into one less good burger that's harder to eat. So it's kind of the opposite of a hack. You're making things worse. This, this isn't great. I, I will admit, I'm not a huge fan of the fillet of fish. But yeah, you can, you can kind of get this fishy sort of taste. I have to say, the most overwhelming taste, though, is the tartare sauce. The tartare sauce is very strong. The pickly sort of vinegary taste there is very, very present in this burger. The cheese as well. I think there's three slices of cheese on this. Is there cheese on the fillet of fish? Uh, actually, maybe no, just the two slices of cheese. So that's surprising that the cheese is so strong. But um, I don't know. It's like the fish kind of like enhances the cheese taste somehow. It makes it more creamy. I don't think this is very successful. Uh, at all. It does show a lot of hide, a lot of cheek, and a lot of chutzpah on the part of McDonald's to market this, to say, hey, you should go out and buy two burgers and put them together, two or three burgers or some nuggets or whatever, just buy some normal stuff and put it together. We won't do that for you, but you can do that yourself in the car or in the restaurant and get yourself kind of messed up in the process and then enjoy something like slightly less good. I would much prefer to eat a fillet of fish and a double cheeseburger to this. It's really not that great. It's really not that great. I thought when they were doing those celebrity meals at McDonald's, I thought that was a stroke of marketing genius, getting ordinary menu items and just kind of packaging, packaging them into a meal that are then signed off by a celebrity and saying, hey, this is a new product, when really it's just a kind of reorganization of some standard menu items into one meal and then selling that as a new product. I thought that was cheeky. I thought that was um, taking the mick a bit, but this goes beyond that. This goes beyond that. They're saying here is just our normal stuff, put it together 
And I don't know, here's an ad to encourage you to do that. It looks like it worked. I don't know, a lot of people are talking about it. A lot of people are commenting that it's not that great, but you know, the word is out there. Americans are talking about it. So will this come to Australia? It's very easy for them to release it in Australia. They don't have to make anything new. They don't even need to add anything onto the, onto the point of sale system thing. I don't know exactly how it works, but yeah, this was just a fillet of fish and a double cheeseburger. They didn't have to do anything. So we, we already have it in Australia, actually. We just don't have the promotion. Will we get the promotions in Australia? I don't know. All it would involve is uh, a new voiceover on the ads, really, and boom, they've done it. Actually, the ad I saw, the guy had a weird sort of British accent. Oh, it's going to tip over. No, it's good. It's good. Very stable. So I don't even think they need to redub the ads. That's how primed this is for an international release. Will it work in McDonald's favor? Do people expect more from McDonald's? I think it will work in their favor, and I think people's expectations of McDonald's are pretty low. So anyway, I'll leave that there. Many thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for checking this out, and I will talk to you later. Cheers. Yeah, the fish is pretty dry as well, so it's it's really not that good.